<laughs> I know. Let's serve up some news sunny side up. Please welcome the man behind countless blockbusters, Oscar, Golden Globe, and Emmy Award winning director who Aww. needs no introduction, Steven Spielberg. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Drew Face. <laughs> I still care about you. I've always cared about you. Ever since that first time this little blonde hurricane <laughs> walked into an audition in my office and took uh, us by storm and then soon took the entire world by storm. That was you then and that is you today. You know, I think one of the people that mean the most to me to be accountable and a good person and have my you know what together is definitely you. Drew was really something, and but when but her ET interview was the best because when she walked into the office, she didn't want to talk about the movie, she didn't even care what the film was about. She wanted to talk to me about her punk band she was forming. The and purple taking on people the leaders. <laughs> None and, of it really uh, existed, but so it so did. we put a song in ET. Purple People Eaters just in order to please Drew to, <laughs> to make that story kind of have a full circle. Deadline reports that actress Simone Ashley has been cast as the love interest for Anthony Bridgerton, played by Jonathan Bailey. Now, we all know the new season's going to focus around their love affair. He is as good as it gets. He is riveting. And I think that she is just beautiful, yeah. extraordinary, and I want to say that this is the power of casting. When people take casting risks and they discover someone, it's a very big deal. And I really thank the show for doing that with Simone. I'm very excited to see her. Well, well they did it in season one. I wasn't aware of these actors before, and now I'm obsessed with all of them, and I'm obsessed with her already. I've been pouring through her images. She almost looks different in each photo, but she is stunning. Ross, we gotta start with some sex in the city. Of course. Because it's the best show ever, and I still binge it all the time, and we're all patiently waiting for the reboot to come and save us all and distract <laughs> us out of our woes. And we know Carrie, Miranda, and Charlotte are back, but what about the rest of the cast? I can't stop thinking about this. Well, Willie Garson is back, who plays Stanford. By the way, I've known Willie like my entire life. It's hilarious. Love him. There's rumors that Miranda Steve. And Mr. Big won't, won't be returning? Wait, what? Yeah, will not. That's the rumor that they won't be returning, and I'm furious. I... 2021! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need this today, right? Well, I want... I, I, you take it away, Rossi. Okay. I'm too upset to talk. I know. Well, listen, we all are still processing the Kim Cattrall news that she's not going to be there, right, Samantha? Uh, but now Us Weekly says the actor Chris Noth, who played Big, he's finally commented on this, saying very cryptically, quote, everything changes, including announcements in the rags, which oh. means like the magazine. So maybe it's a fluid situation. Girl, we need you now, all right? I need them all to show up. Enough of this playing coy, will they or won't they? You're showing up, Mr. Big, you understand? Steve, <sighs> I, know. I know. We're zooming up. Speaking of this, <laughs> we're going to space because NASA has captured their first recording of the sounds of Mars. Are you ready, everybody, I, to hear it? I've been waiting my whole life to hear Mars. Right? Yeah. You and everyone else. I hope it's out of this world. All right, ready? <laughs> Listen. Silence. What? That's it. That's, that's the first sounds from Mars. That's all we get from that's Mars? It. That's the big hoopla, Ross. We traveled all this way to find out that they get the same cell service on Mars that I got on 57 to 10. <laughs> can, can you hear me now? <laughs> what? Let's take a look, actually, from some of the red carpet looks over the years. I mean, this is my favorite. Come on, it's Sunny and Cher. Uh, <laughs> that not perfection right there, Cher. Iconic. I love when mm. people go for it. Don't be afraid, take a risk. Lapita Nuango uh, uh, in 2014 uh, for 12 Years a Slave, I think that's when she established that she is Mrs. Drop the Mic fashion. Lady Gaga, 2019, Star is Born. Yeah, what about, remember back in the day, Julia Roberts in this, that she won for Steel Magnolias oh, yeah. in 1990, wearing something that I think Drew's gonna wear on the show next I week. I was gonna say, yeah. you know I love a tie. <laughs> and here's Angela Jolie uh, in 2011. I remember that red carpet, I remember uh, mm -hmm. I was watching Brad Pitt and her pull up in their car. Brad got out and walked yes. around and opened the door and let her out. I was like watching it myself like a human being. They were there and I was like, oh my God, let's true story. That was one of those moments where you hold your breath, by the way, with Angelina. It was one of those moments where you're like, oh. 
Oh my God, look exactly. at that. I think that's the definition of drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> and today it's the Expert, an incredible new platform for design lovers. This is so perfect for design week. So House Beautiful reports that you can now get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with design gurus like Leanne Ford of HGTV's Restored by the Fords, Bobby Burke from Queer Eye, and so many more. It was co-founded by a designer named Jake Arnold who's worked with Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. Here's the gimmick. You go on, and you can do anything from about $150 all the way up, you know, far past it, but what you do for $150 is you can get a 30-minute consultation with some of the biggest designers there are in the world. This is game-changing. For people who would probably never have access to that sort of level of design, they can now get it. This is so huge, and you can zoom from your room, and they can take you through it and help and guide you the pros. Now, at 150 bucks a pop, what a great way to start.